Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, I let you know that Microsoft had confirmed an issue with Windows 11 24H2, where a recent update had broken the task manager. That video will be linked down below and in the end screen. And just to let you know that earlier today, Microsoft actually has confirmed another issue, but it's affecting Windows 10 this time, where with a recent optional bug fix C release update that rolled out for Windows 10 22H2 back at the end of September this year. Uh, the update rolled out 24th, 25th of September, depending on your region, KB5043131. Um, there's an issue for some users that's preventing the startup of certain apps if they are started by a non-admin user. Now, we'll have a look in a short bit what, how you can check if you're an admin user or non-admin user. But basically, at the end of the day, the affected apps include Quick Assist, Microsoft Teams, and Windows Narrator. And any app Microsoft says with UI access set to true. Now, what basically UI access is, it's um, the UI access attribute uh, is found in an apps manifest and it's a file requests that the application be granted higher privileges. Now that's quite a mouthful, but all you need to know at the end of the day, this means that the issue occurs only when you are signed in with regular user privileges and not admin privileges as mentioned. So that's the issue that this update is causing KB5043131. If you are using Quick Assist, Microsoft Teams, Windows Narrator, or any app with UI access set to true, those apps are failing to start, okay? Now, if you want to check if you are signed in as admin on Windows 10, head over to your settings, accounts, and yeah, you'll see on your info, I am admin administrator on this computer. So if you are not seen administrator, when you head over to your info, then obviously this could be a problem you may run into after installing that optional bug fix C release update for September. And just another reason why I always say on the channel, only install optional updates that roll out at the end of every month. Um, if you have a, a major issue with your system that needs to be fixed, otherwise ignore the update because Microsoft still works on optional updates um, uh, before they roll out as a mandatory update with the Patch Tuesday update in the second Tuesday of the next month, as you may well know. Now, if you are wondering... Um, if this issue has been resolved, Microsoft has said the issue was mitigated by a known issue rollback, which basically is nothing you have to do from your side, as you may well know if you view the channel. You don't have to install another update or anything like that. And what a known issue rollback does, also known as um, KRR, uh, it, do, it undoes the little problematic bits of the update, kind of behind the scenes. And Microsoft always says with a known issue rollback that it might take up to 24 hours to propagate. But what I always say with a known issue rollback, if you are experiencing this issue, um, just restart. Just restart your Windows 10 device. Don't shut it down, restart it, and that can help in a lot of cases actually hurry up the process. So um, just letting you know, unfortunate, unfortunately, we've had a report on two bugs again with Windows, one with Windows 11, one with Windows 10. But at least um, with this Windows 10 issue, Microsoft has resolved it with a known issue rollback. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.